So first, thank you very much that you visited us. Uh, and I hope uh, that we can show you something special here. Um, you see this installation uh, that we have done here at the booth, and we call it the Dragon's Neck. Uh, and the idea was the following. Uh, our main business is uh, solar facades, building integration PV. And uh, what we see a lot is uh, when we talk to architects and uh, commercial customers, uh, they have a different, uh, they have a spe specific uh, opinion about solar. They know it from rooftop installations, small rooftop installations or big solar parks. And for architects this is boring, this is not a material they like. And once we, have visit, we, we want to visit them, they say, okay, that is boring, we are not really interested in. Uh, but what we show, I think, is completely different from the classic crystalline panel with frames, visible cells. This is completely different. Uh, we use uh, CIGS technology, and CIGS technology means that we do a, a thin film technology, and the result you can see with the panels because you don't see any cells, uh, and additionally you don't see any frame, and you don't see any visible mounting system at the front of the glass. And what we wanted to show here with the dragon's neck is you can do anything what you like in architecture, even three-dimensional structures. And this is uh, what we have here, uh, because the helix is around this body of the ship, uh, and any panel is fixed with a different angle. And so we wanted to show, OK, if this is possible, any facade is also possible. Uh, but it's, for us, it's important to really show that there are not too many limits. Uh, and uh, I think we can show this uh, with this. And we can also go inside, uh, we can step in, and then you can see also the mounting system. Uh, so you see uh, the panel now from the back side. Is it, uh, is it OK? Acoustic is OK? Yes, yes. OK, great. Um, so you see the panel from the back side. You see the glass of the panel. That's uh, the, what you see as black. And then we have this metal back structure that you see here. It's a metal back sheet, too. Uh, and we call it our back rail system. And uh, what is uh, uh, important regarding this? Um, we are a German producer of solar panels, and we build a lot of projects in Germany. Uh, and normally, you need a mechanical fixing of the front glass. It's uh, according to the building industry, uh, there has to be a bracket or a frame around it or something like that. But we hate frames and we hate brackets. And so we ask our certification body what we have to do. Uh, and they said, use a frame, then everything is fine. And we said, no. Uh, then we did a procedure of uh, three years of certification to get the German building approval. It's called Allgemeine Bauaufsichtliche Zulassung. So official body says, okay, if you have it, then it's fine. Um, so we did this process and invested, I think, millions that we can use the panel like it is here. And with this back rail system that you see here, you can use any mounting system behind. So we have developed for this project and also for the pedestrian bridges, we have developed this X-bone structure. So you can hang the panels three-dimensional on a three-dimensional structure. So that's the most complicated way. So even. Uh, the CAT uh, programs uh, don't work anymore uh, with these structures. Uh, but as I said, our highlight is to really stress on the flexibility of the mounting. So as I said, what you can imagine, you can also do. And as I said, this we, what we have done here uh, with about 60 panels, three-dimensional structure, we are working on a, on a project for a, for a luxury brand at the moment. They also want to have something special, so we also developed our own mounting system behind. So you have, at the end, two options, more the fancy stuff you can do, but you can also do normal facades like you can see here on the background. Or, or here on this side, you can see uh, normal facades. And also, uh, here I would also like to explain the color. 
because you see, can see here uh, the panels are colored. The base color is black, like you see here at the dragon snake, but you can have the, the panels also in different colors. And what, that's also a very special uh, technology because what we didn't want to do is to hide the cells with color. Because if you do a pigment coating, like a screen or a whole, uh, a whole print, then you hide the cells and these cells cannot reduce power. What we have done, we have developed technology that is based on reflection. So for example, the blue panels that you can see here, it's not blue. It's just your imagination of blue. Because the sun comes on a panel, the sun is white, but white means blue, green, yellow, and so on. And here with the blue panel, the blue part of sunlight is reflected to your eyes, and your brain says, okay, that's blue. And in reality, it's like it, you can see here, if you have sunlight on the panel, it's really brilliant in color. And if the sun goes down and there's not too much sun, then it's more saturation goes down. So just imagine reality, sun comes up, it's illuminated blue, the panel produces power, and if the sun goes down, the color goes down, and also power goes down. Then it's darker blue. Then it's darker blue. Uh, it's a uh, saturation goes down, okay. so it's more grayish at the end. Uh, so we have uh, open joints here. Um, so you can see again, everybody here. Okay. Uh, we have the panel with the back rail, and then you have a, a system that you normally use for ventilated facades. For norm, if you use uh, aluminium cladding or steel cladding or wood or glass or something like that, it's the same system. And this means you can just take the panel and hang it in. So we have done, we have done the installation here and I'm not an installer, also my colleagues are not installers, so it's really a simple system to do. And so we can do really I simple installation for the whole system. And so at the end, I hope we have a nice aesthetic panel. We have a lot of flexibility with the panel and we have a complete system behind. Can you also uh, produce uh, different dimensions of the modules? Uh, yes, we can uh, produce uh, a limited variation of the panels because uh, the issue is if you do really tailor-made panels, then the costs are very high. And we want, to be, we want it to be in comparison to classic building material with just some additional cost. So we have, can do some variations, but limited uh, to be within uh, the, the financial budget of projects. Any other questions? Can you please uh, uh, explain for us about the cost of the dragon neck? The cost. The cost. The cost of the... <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you want to buy it? Uh, it's already... S <laughs> but the problem is it, it's, uh, it's already sold. Uh, so, uh, we don't have any cost uh, of, the, of this dragon's neck because it's really a sculpture. And uh, so, it's not for sale. Uh, we use it for our showcases. And we have done a lot of investment uh, and research and everything. So, we shouldn't talk about cost about this. But if you want to sell it, if you want to buy it, uh, we, I make you a price. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Mr. Mike.